Earlier this week, when he thought the Mueller probe was behind him and he was feeling more bold, Donald Trump tried to pick fights with several other countries. Now that the subpoenas have started flying in his scandals and the Mueller report could begin surfacing at any time, Trump has shifted to a more defensive posture. He's trying to pick a fight with his own country. Donald Trump announced today during a press conference that if Congress doesn't quickly give him his way on immigration, he'll close the border between the United States and Mexico, or at least large sections of it. While this would harm the Mexican economy, it would also bring immediate harm to the U.S. economy, thus negatively impacting everyone in the United States. In other words, Trump is trying to take his own country hostage and is threatening to punish every American in the wallop if he doesn't get his way. It's anyone's guess as to whether Trump, who has recently begun speaking and acting more erratically than ever, will actually go through with closing the border. This was, after all, a press conference in which Trump kept saying oranges instead of origins and falsely stated that his own father was born in Germany, so it's not as if he's exactly dealing with reality here. But with the House Democrats having signed off on their first big subpoena of the Trump regime today and several Mueller report-related subpoenas expected, as soon as tomorrow, Donald Trump has pretty clearly decided that hostage-taking is all he has left. House Democrats won't cave to Trump's tactics, so it's up to him if he truly wants to take a wrecking ball to the U.S. economy in the name of trying to pull off a wind on immigration.